The legacy of Isabella Elder is more than just the buildings in the park and, and the library. It's about the impact she had on people, on their education. Her impact on higher education in Scotland and beyond really, and certainly at the University of Glasgow, is really significant. <laughs> We're here today in Elder Park to learn a bit more about one of our feminist heroes, Isabella Elder. Born on the 15th of March 1828, Isabella became one of Scotland's leading feminist powerhouses. Isabella Elder was the remarkable wife of Glaswegian shipbuilder and marine engineer John Elder, the owner of the vast Fairfield shipyards in Govan. Isabella Elder donated and um, gave endowments to a range of different sources. And she donated £27,000 for the building of Elder Library, which is about £2.5 million pounds in today's money. Education was really important to Isabella Elder. She funded bursaries for uh, working boys in the Govan area. It was this idea of using education as a means of self-improvement. In 1883, she bought North Park House in the west end of Glasgow and donated it to the forward-thinking Queen Margaret College the first college in Scotland to provide higher education to women. Up until 1892, women could study in universities in the early 1890s, but they couldn't actually get a degree certificate. So if we wanted to go to university, we wouldn't have been allowed on? No, no, women were completely banned from this completely male-dominated sphere. But Isabel completely did not believe in any of that. She wanted equal opportunities and equal education for women. To find out more about Isabella Elder's remarkable life, we decided to visit Glasgow University's archives and had a chat with Dr Andrea Thompson about her research. Well, here is Isabella Elder, the great lady herself, looking very regal. Well, both of these were taken in the 1890s, um, fairly typical of the period in their kind of very posed nature. And you really get a kind of sense of the woman, I think, through these kind of photographs. Very much the image of a powerful, influential woman. You can definitely see this in this letter, which Karen and I are super about. excited about because it's actually in the great lady's handwriting. Mm. Isabella Elder clearly had a well-established relationship with Glasgow University, contacting the principal and other members of staff through letter. She goes back to this fundamental point time and time again throughout the material that's held here in the archives and our correspondence, that women should have, you can see here, women should have the best teaching possible. And that's really her fundamental belief. That's what all of this kind of goes back to. Um, every single one of these kind of sources and letters and perspectives, it's all kind of coming out of her belief that women have a right to this absolute equality. You can see she's underlined this. <laughs> so we were talking about our kind of emphasis. emphasis. <laughs> the question of Queen Margaret College seems to be as far off a satisfactory settlement as ever. This is causing me great anxiety. And as you're one of those in whose hands the matter has been placed on behalf of the university, I'm writing to you in hope that in this way something may be done to put an end to the differences oh, that have arisen. Like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You will remember that the college was originally founded in the form of the Association of Friends for Women's Education who wish them to be able to enjoy the advantages of a university education. It's yeah. fair to say we wouldn't have degrees if no. she hadn't. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, it's people yeah. like this that exactly that create these paths. 